outlook on the coronavirus outbreak and a dire warning from the White House. This morning, the U.S. Surgeon General compared this coming week to some of America's greatest tragedies and told Americans to be prepared as the death toll continues to rise. This is going to be the hardest and the saddest week of most Americans' lives, quite frankly. This is going to be our Pearl Harbor moment, our 9-11 moment, only it's not going to be localized. It's going to be happening all over the country, and I want America to understand that. The prediction comes as the number of confirmed cases in the U.S. rises to over 321,000. More than 9,100 people have died so far, with over 1,300 deaths reported on Saturday. Powers of the air gon' give away. The sky will roll, the mountains fade. Deemed of the king at the end of the age Singing there and not the Lord a son that day Take the scroll and loose its seals Stars fall, earth reel The man with the scepter, the man with the sword The man of the cross will soon be crowned Lord And this night will soon be over And this night will soon be over. So bow your knee and turn your eye. The only one worthy, the only one right. His eyes are like fire and glory, he'll ride to Jerusalem as he rips through the skies. The blood of the Lamb will be our only hope when the plates and the fire and the blood and the smoke fall upon nations and fall upon kings. Way for the end of all things in this night will soon be over and this night will soon be over and the seals and the trumpets and all of the boats have run their course and taken their toll and the last of the wicked have taken their stand before the Lord the Lord's right hand and Zion a fountain of judgment and burning open for cleansing for those who are yearning for this night to soon be over for this night to soon be over yeah this night
I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. And he who is seated on the throne said, Behold, I'm making all things new. And he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. 